So, uh, this is me leaving home to go and have a walk around the village. I live in a village called Aidening in Gloucestershire, which is at the southern end of the Cotswolds. As you can see, very hilly, and in this particular morning, very frosty. It's a typical little Gloucestershire village, very Cotswoldy all nice stone buildings and as we come up you can see just 50 meters away local pub Queen Matilda all closed up at the moment because of Covid and uh, to be honest it's a bit of a pain in the neck I'll be glad when we get things open and we can start socializing with people again not much traffic, this is the odd car or two. And then if we look over this wall, we can see the village, or part of the village. And uh, in the sunshine, which is a bit rare, it's been raining for the last, oh, I don't know, week. And uh, the mill stream down at the bottom of the valley is uh, quite full, as you will see shortly. Walking down to where the sluice is in the mill stream. See a fair bit of uh, frost around. It's quite slippy underfoot. But uh, it's good to get out and about and have a bit of a, a break and a walk around. Now, as you can see, the uh, water meadow is uh, fairly well flooded. Uh, the sluice doesn't have uh, gates on it anymore, they've gone, and so the water from the mill pond just flows through the sluice and into the mill stream down to the mill uh, without control. And when it, uh, we get as much rain as we've had recently, then uh, it starts to uh, look like this. And as you can see, very nice morning and evening, lovely sunshine against the yellow Cotswold stone. Right, let's go up and have a look at the sluice itself. I'm standing on the bridge over the sluice, and as you can see, we've got quite a bit of flooding. And where those cars are over there, that's where the water disappears under the road into the garden of that house there and then on into the mill stream past the bottom of my garden down to the old mill. We'll now cross the road and look at the sluice itself. This is the original mill pond which is now in somebody's garden. Very nice too. You can see here very pleasant winter's morning and then we look down to the actual sluice and you can see no gates long gone and the water is just pouring through it comes from uh, up on the hills and there are a couple of lakes further up that overflow into a stream which then overflows into the spill pond this is the house that has the mill pond in its garden now, which is uh, extremely pleasant and uh, I could definitely cover that. Um, lovely, lovely old house. And you can now see where it disappears into the, uh, under the road and down into the mill stream and uh, as you can see very clear water and it's also moving at a fair old rate
and while I'm talking to you you don't obviously don't have smelly vision there's a fabulous smell in the air of a wood fire somewhere which makes the whole morning uh, quite a delight to uh, have a walk around even though we're locked up right back up to the top of the hill Morning. Okay, no problems. Cyclists out on the morning trip. Now we're going down to uh, Middle Lane, which is where I live. A bit slippy down this road, so should take care. This is uh, our house. So, nice little stroll. Get the old heart rate going. Bit of fun. Lovely morning. And back home for a nice hot cup. 